this demonstration we are going to use display rules to control the display of media components based on the position of our edges of pavement relative to each other. Currently our left inside edge of pavement and our right inside edge of pavement are at a 12 foot offset from the center line causing a 24 foot median. If the median is 25 feet or greater we want to use a 4 foot flat bottom ditch as seen here and if the median is less than 24 feet we want to switch to a jersey median. So the first step in doing this is to go ahead and place both median components in the template. To do that we'll simply highlight the template, grab, grab the template, drag and drop it into the current template. Once each component has been placed in the template we can then use the display rules to control when each component is to be placed. To do that, we'll right click on the template and choose Edit Component. Then we'll choose Edit for the Display Rules. And we're going to add a new display rule. And I'm currently editing the display rule in the Jersey median, which is only going to be placed if the median is less than 24 feet. So we're going to call this less than 24 feet. And what we're going to do is test the horizontal position of our inside edges of pavement between our right inside edge of pavement and our left inside edge of pavement. What this is going to do is this is going to subtract the current offset of the right inside edge of pavement from the current left inside edge of pavement offset. Um, currently we're sitting at 12 feet right and 12 feet left so when we subtract those 12 minus a negative 12 gives us 24. So our median is going to be less than 24. When R, when right inside edge of pavement minus left inside edge of pavement is less than 24. We'll say OK on that. Currently we can see that the value is false. If we wanted to edit that and make it less than or equal to, we can do that now we see the result is true. And since we want this jersey barrier to be displayed when the edges of pavement are less than or equal to 24 feet, then we're going to go ahead and add this rule to the jersey barrier. And say OK. And apply and close. We see that the jersey barrier remains displayed. These two other components median components attached to the jersey barrier can be controlled either by display rules or by making them a child of the jersey barrier and we'll do that. Right click and edit component and simply make the parent component the jersey barrier. So that when the jersey barrier is displayed they will be displayed when it is turned off, they will be turned off. Now when the edges of pavement are greater than 24 feet apart, we do not want to see the flat bottom ditch, so we're going to right click on this and simply choose in the edit display rules that we want not less than 24 feet. Selected rule, hit OK, apply and close. We can see that that component gets turned off. So now we can test this by moving our edges of pavement in and out. We can see that as we move the edges of pavement in closer than 24 feet, our jersey barrier is displayed. But when we move it out greater than 24 feet, our four foot flat, flat bottom ditch is displayed.